guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to talk kind of fast because I have a really long video for you guys. It is a humongous haul. So I went on vacation to Los Angeles and Las Vegas for nine days. I hit up a bunch of beauty shops. So I'm so excited to show you what I got and where I shopped. So if you are shopping in those places, I am going to be talking about where I went from what I can remember. Um, yeah, the amount of makeup I bought was ridiculous. Tomorrow I start my nine hour, five day a week job. I'm not ready. But anyways, let's just get straight into this haul. I'm gonna start off with Los Angeles where I went in Los Angeles so the first place that I went to so exciting you guys I went to the KKW pop-up shop I believe it was called like Westfield mall or something like that you can look it up it's still open it's open until July 27th so you still can go if you want to she just so happened to open it like when I just so happened to be in LA and uh, so I just so happened to go I had to wait an hour and a half in line because they let so few people in or at least they did when I went which was I thought very very rude they only had like one little setup and they only let like 10 people in at a time so that's why I waited in line for an hour and a half it was kind of ridiculous I was kind of mad about it because normally I wouldn't be mad because like I know it was going to be a high volume of people and I was going to have to wait and I was prepared for that but they knew a lot of people were going so I don't know why they only set up a small display that could only let a few people in the store at a time. The workers were lovely but I don't know I just think they weren't very smart about it but that's just me. So on the third day though I did only have to wait an hour and a half so I'm sure by now most people have gone that have wanted to go so there probably won't be crazy lines anymore. But I picked up the light contour stick well in the shade light number two i love contour sticks and i like this one because it's very gray undertoned it's not too warm so it's really going to sculpt my cheek it blends pretty well it's not the best blending sculptor i've used but it definitely does its job and i do like it and i do like the shade that i got i'll show you I did do a tutorial for me trying out these things. It's what one of the things I have on my cheeks, so check that video out. And then I got the concealer. I was so happy I got to go to the store and actually get color mesh instead of buying a random color. So I got number four, which still is like really bright for what I'm used to, but it works because that's what you're supposed to get with this product, really bright under eye. So I got that, and then I got the powder and the pull it out brightening powder in shade number one i'm not going to show you just because i'm sure you've seen enough of it already but i do like the under eye products i mean they're not the greatest i've tried but they're not bad i'm just happy i got to go and get color match so i'm very into korean beauty it interests me i don't know much about it but korean beauty i don't know it's just something that interests me so i wanted to go to koreatown and try out some of the things so I went to the Beauty Palace and then another store called the Arteum, Arateri? I don't know how you say it. I kind of picked random things. I no rhyme or reason as to why I got them. Um, but the first thing I got, this was like 10 for $7. This was at the Beauty Palace. I think that that's kind of the best place to go. It's really awesome. They have a lot of super cool things. And it's just a bunch of sheet masks. I just thought it was a really good deal, to be honest. Um, they're in English, though. So so they're made in Korea, but they're like English. But I just saw it and it was a really good deal for some sheet masks. So 10 for 7, come on. Also really random that I got was um, Cody Airspun powder. I've never tried it and I've never seen it in store. So even though this isn't like Korean or anything, I wanted to try it. I got it in the naturally neutral. Random that I got that, but I'm happy I got it because I've always wanted to try that powder. Um, I got a couple lashes. It was two for seven. They're by this darkness brand and I'm just gonna, you can take a look. I really like this one. I'm excited to try it. So the reason why I wanted to try Korean lashes is because I have really small eyes. I'm half Asian and I'm hoping that these fit Asian eyes well. I don't know. We'll see. And then also really exciting is by the brand Beauty People. This is a brand made in Korea and these are really interesting. I can't wait to try them. They're Flash Fix Pearl, oops, pearl Pigments and they're like literally, I'll show you, the most beautiful things. 
I don't know. I, they're not like the Super Shock shadows, but it's like a similar idea because it's really soft. Come on. It's literally a pressed pigment and it's not pressed very hard. Ignore my nails. It's not pressed very hard. It's just like loose flakes almost. So gorgeous. This is in the shade Sugar Light. So this is in the shade Sugar Light. The pigmentation on these guys is insane. I've yet to put them on my eyes. But you can get this actually for $11 on Amazon, and I paid $13 for them, but I got to swatch it in stores. And the other shade I got is Starlight, which I would leave these plastic things on to keep it pressed because I can see this drying out or all of these like falling out because it's not really heavily pressed, but it's a beautiful gold color. So excited to so that's all I got at Beauty Palace, but then at that Aridale store, <laughs> this I believe is their house brand. It's the Aridale Color Live Tint or Live Tint in the shade number 9 Coral on top. This is a very Korean product. It's just like a lip tint. It's a coral color. It smells like gummy candy. That's why I got it. And it makes you look like you just ate a popsicle. It's kind of cool. I really like it. Very sheer. It's just a lip tint. And then I paid $18 for this. Um, it's by the brand Mamandi. Um, it's a flower pop blusher is what it's called. I don't know why I got this. I was just really attracted to the color. Um, it's literally just this PG Coral blush. It just looked beautiful to me. It probably is not worth $18. But um, it's a Korean brand and I saw a blush that I liked so I picked it up and it smells very like clean. It has a scent to it and I, I'm digging it. So I've used it a couple of times. It is nice. Probably not worth $18 but I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> so and then I only picked up one thing in Sephora in Los Angeles. The Artist Couture Illuminati Diamond Glow Powder. I'm so late on the bandwagon on these, and they are so beautiful. It's what I'm wearing today. You can see it in my tutorial coming up. Holy moly. This is beautiful. Okay, so this is actually the last makeup item that I bought in Los Angeles. I was on Melrose. I did their trading post on Sunday. Really awesome. You should go if you're into like thrifted fashions, basically. It's like a really neat, cool, hipster kind of place. And I was walking down Melrose. And I saw this store and I was like, oh my god, that's so cute. I walk in and it was freaking Urban Outfitters. <laughs> but anyways, um, they have Lime Crime there and I've never seen Lime Crime in person. And so I picked up the Venus XL palette. Look at this. You guys, this is stunning and the colors blend amazing. I love this color scheme. I'd seen it on like Instagram and I did like it, but I just had never tried Lime Crime before. So I didn't want to purchase it but it's what i used today for my crazy hot pink look and i'm really into it i'm so excited to do more looks with it so that's all i got in los angeles so las vegas low-key kind of i had more of a better time in when it came to makeup shopping besides the kkw shop so i'm gonna start off with what i got at sephora so i got the ysl touche eclat all in one glow i got mine in the shade b30 i think this is probably a shade too light for me but it's fine I can make it work this is like it's a very glowy foundation I find that my formula I don't know if it's just mine that I kind of need to mix it together I feel like the oil didn't really blend into this that well so I have to kind of separate it so I have to blend it all over my face first and then use a sponge don't know if that's normal it doesn't bother me that much the finish on it's really pretty if you're looking for a good glowy foundation highly recommend this I also I also got the Tom Ford Traceless Foundation Stick. I got mine in the shade 4.5 Ivory. This is a really good color match for me, and it should be because it's a lot of money. It's like $85. My mom bought it, and it looked fabulous on her skin. Like, fabulous. And so then I bought it. Um, I've yet to wear it, so maybe it might not wear that well, but I'm really excited to try this really expensive foundation. Okay, I didn't get this at Sephora, but you can get it at Sephora. Got it at Nordstrom, but this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Cult classic. Everybody loves this foundation. I can't believe I haven't tried it yet, so I've just been wanting to try it. I got mine in the shade 2W1 Dawn. A little bit yellow for my liking. 
shocking, but it, it works. It's a really good foundation. It really does wear super well. Like, it's not my favorite finish on my skin as far as foundation goes, but it really lasts all day in the Vegas heat. It did a really good job. From what I can tell from the ones I might wear it, I think it's really good. And then I got this at an actual Dior Beauty Boutique, which was an amazing experience. It was like a beautiful shop. The worker was lovely. Um, so I got the Dior Skin Forever Foundation. This is what I'm wearing today. Literally the perfect color match for me. This is 025. Perfect color match for me. And it looks beautiful on my skin. I haven't worn it yet but i think i really like it i didn't set it because it is a matte foundation i have dry skin my skin is so dry from vegas continuing on i went to the nyx store i'm i've been a nyx fan for forever it honestly holds a special place in my heart because i was a fan of nyx before they even sold in store like i ordered when they were online only just starting out brand nyx products don't have the best quality if you ask me like even though they're drugstore i still don't find their quality to be better than a lot of other drugstore i like their brand though i like how like on trend they are with their products so if there's like a new type of product out that i want to try but i don't want to spend a lot of money on it i just want to try it out i always go for nyx like nyx is the reason i got into brow pomade so yeah nyx is i love the nyx store even though i don't love the quality of their products i'm usually disappointed by a lot of their products but some of them are really hidden gems. So I picked up the Gotch Covered Concealer in the shade Natural. I've heard nobody talk about this and there's probably a reason for it because it probably sucks. But I've never tried concealer in a tube. And I wanted to try a tube concealer. So I picked this up and I will have to try it. I'm so excited to. Hopefully um, I'm not disappointed. And then I do really, really love their butter glosses. So I picked up two. I got Madeline and Fortune Cookie. I just like to throw these in my purse because if I lose them, they're like six bucks. It's no big deal. And I love these. I wear them all the time. They're such a good gloss and for such a good price. Okay, and so these next items from NYX are their new releases. So I have trying some of their new stuff so the first are their suede lipsticks i got the shade dainty days which is their i believe it's the lightest color they have it's what i'm wearing right now under fortune cookie gloss and then free spirit which is a little bit of a deeper nude now these are such an interesting texture they glide on the lips so smooth and for a matte lipstick they're not drying at all they're so smooth I, putting them on i was so so impressed by them however they last like five minutes so that's kind of the price you have to pay with these if you want them to last long they're just not going to but they're very comfortable on the lips so I like them but like I said there is a catch to them then I got the slip tease lip lacquer I was really excited to try these they had a bunch of amazing colors I picked the shade camel now when I first put this on I was like amazing love it I'm buying them in every color Five minutes later, I changed my mind. These, they're called slip tees. They have so much slip to them. They're all over your face. Don't even think about eating with them. Don't even think about talking with this on. This is a strictly like Instagram lip product. Honestly, like beautiful. So pigmented, so glossy. I wore it in one of my most recent Instagram pictures that I took. It's just beautiful. But don't leave the house with them. Don't. <laughs> And then I got the Foil Play Cream Eyeshadow. This is in the shade Steal Your Man. And as you can see, it's like a glittery gel, basically. It's like jelly. This, I think, is copying the Butter London Glaze and Eye Glosses. These aren't quite as jelly-like, but it definitely it's more wet than a Super Shock or a Cream Shadow. It's that jello, jello-y jelly formula um it's not nearly as pigmented as the butter ones but it's still good it's really really pretty this shade in particular i was wearing like an all matte orange look and i popped this in the center of my lid it's really pretty so i don't don't have anything to complain about with these it's just not as good or as pigmented as the butter ones and then the foil play cream pigment what is a cream pigment um <laughs> i don't know that's why i got it it's like just really soft honestly just a really soft pigment i haven't put this on my eyes yet but this is the most unique color i it's i know i have a bunch of stuff on my hands but it's this color it's like a gray green silver color 
This is in the shade Radio Cast. I can't wait to see how this looks. Um, I don't have anything bad to say about it though. I haven't tried it yet but it's beautiful. And the last store that I went to was the new Morphe store. Not only did I go to a Morphe store, but I went to a brand new open last week Morphe store. Fortunately, I was supposed to be there when the Jaclyn Hill vault released and I was like, yes, but they pushed back the release date. But I still had a lot of fun. So they had some non Morphe brands. So I got the liquid sugar, like, I don't know. It's like a glitter adhesive or it like, I don't really know what it is. I, I don't know why I picked it up. Um, it looked cool. I used it today. I think I used it wrong. I, I need to play with this guy some more because I have no freaking clue how to use it. But I also got a few glitters to go along with it because all of my glitters are from NYX. So I did want to get kind of another brand in there. So I got Double Bubble, which is a pink. It's what I have on my eyelids right now. Sugar Cane, which... I can't really show you the colors, hard to tell. This is like a, I don't know if you can see, but it's like a, I don't really know what color it is to be honest, but it's like a dark silver gunmetal color. I just think that it would be really beautiful with a smoky eye. This one is candy corn, kind of a copper color. Don't worry about it, it's just a copper color. Um, Yellin Melon, I got it because I just kind of like the name, I'm not going to lie. It's a yellow glitter with like silver reflex in it i don't know if you're gonna I'm trying my best these are hard to show but this is like it you see all the reflex in it so cool and then this one's my favorite one this is jelly bean it's a purple with so many blue and oh, gorgeous duo crimson in it yes um side note my mom picked up the jeffree star thirsty palette and the androgyny palette so i'm gonna nip those from her and do a couple looks so stay tuned for that i also picked up like mad brushes i'm not even gonna go through them all but being able to see them in person i just went a little buck wild i wanted a lot more detailed brushes so i could do more detailed eye looks and so being able to see like their actual size in person was amazing because some of the blending brushes i would order online they looked really tiny and then i got them and they were like huge so i'm just gonna go for some of my favorites the gold line that they have beautiful um i think this is my favorite line of brushes that they had anything from this line is so amazing so soft because there's a lot of morphe brushes that i have that i don't like this gold line is legitimately good the y14 amazing highlighting brush um the r2 this is from the rose gold line i got this to do bronzer and so far i'm really liking it what else am i super into any of the white hair brushes from morphe by the way i hate they're scratchy and they're terrible Let's see the again y17 gray brush i don't know i just got a bunch of random brushes to try honestly but the gold line is really good and then the elite line is also good but i like the gold line better i picked up the continuous setting mist because it truly does feel amazing i'm like kind of obsessed with it i don't know if it does anything to my makeup but it feels good it was like 15 dollars though i'm feeling that's not that cheap this intrigued me this was their bronzer i got mine in the shade celebutante and i used it today i actually quite like it i think it's a neat little concept 12 dollars. i like it <laughs> and this i'm super in love with this is the 8c cool blush palette look at this if you're a blush lover, mm -hmm. it took everything in me not to get the warm version of this, but I just felt like the warm one didn't flatter my skin tone as much. But I love this. The blushes blend beautifully. And then I also picked up this sponge. It was like $7 and I left my beauty blender at home and I don't really, I'm honestly, I don't really like it. <laughs> if I'm being honest, I like the shape of it. Maybe I just need to use it more. I don't know. Actually, I thought that was it, but this is not. I went to Inglot. I do have an Inglot like an hour away from me here on the East Coast, but I still like never go. And I'm just dabbling into Inglot products. So unfortunately, I threw out the boxes of the colors I got and I can't get the colors out, but I made a little quad. So I got one color from the JLo line, which is this one. And then, and then these three, like, I like the idea of these. They're three in one. 
eyeshadow color so yeah, I kept mine like really warm toned and then the really pretty green. So they're $10 each pan and so far from what I've used, I really like them. Like I said, Inglot is a brand that I'm really trying to get into more and I've been enjoying their products quite a lot. So I made this little guide to introduce myself to their powder products. So that is my Los Angeles, Las Vegas, West Coast haul. I spent a lot of money and um, I'm cutting myself off from my own bank account because, uh, yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. If you have any questions about shopping for beauty in Los Angeles or Las Vegas, I would be glad to help the best I can. I had an amazing time. Yeah, if you want to check out this look, like I said, that video will be coming next. I'm so excited I got to share this all with you. I will talk to you later. Have a great day, guys. Bye.